All right, first off, I'm going to give a praise this to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, or Kakodash, the water of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, for letting me do another video through the Spirit, the water of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, for giving us His truth, us worms, double honors to our positive elders, elders at Great Millstone, and salutation and blessings to all for luck. This is going to be a quick video on how the laws of the Most High are, are slack in America. And what I mean, what I mean by that, is that the laws of the Most High are put in a back burner, and they're not put at the forefront of of the of the society. And look how look how how look how uh, the world has become. It says for slack. It says not not to tote tight held tightly. In position loose a slack rope and the the most high's ways are not held at the forefront they're not they're not loose not tight they're not they're not tight they're not they're put to the back burner but you can see how the world is being world ruled and it shows in the people the majority of people are cruel selfish um uh 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 evil to one another willing to do anything and everything against their brother uh this was this 13th century slack meant since sensation of pain or grief okay let's see what, what does slack mean in the bible it says a slack hand person work carelessly or sloppily, and yes, like a little deceitful. And that's how these people are. It says rather than st striving to do as uh, excellent work, he regularly says, good enough. The good, the good enough worker lies to himself that all will be fine. But like the person with no job to to. He too it hands towards heads towards poverty, and it heads in the mindset that these people have has them in poverty. But spiritually, the majority of these people are spiritually poor. They're spiritually poor. They're not physically poor because some people do have wealth in the society. But what they're spiritually poor. Spiritually, they're broke, man. They they are to the Most High worth nothing. And that's because the Most High is not put at the forefront in society, and it, and it, and it, and man, these people, man, just even in a simple traffic jam, people honking at each other, car car accidents are happening, people don't let people merge in. Why? Because they're cruel one towards another. And what is the laws of the Most High based off of? What is the, What does it stand for? What does it stand for? And Yahusha summed it up. This is Matthew twenty-two and verse thirty-seven. Yahushai said unto him, Thou shalt love love the Lord thy power with all thy heart and with all thy, thy soul and with all thy mind, which is most important. And this is the first and greatest great commandment. The second is like unto the like unto it, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the laws and the prophets. Because if you love your brother, you're not going to be a dickhead to him in traffic. If you love your brother, you're not going to be evil towards another. You're not going to commit adultery to him. You're not going. You're not going to steal from him. And if you and what if you love the Most High, you're going to have fear for the Most High, which is going to keep you from sinning. But since these people don't love the Most High, they don't have fear of him. They don't put the commandments of Yahweh Shem Yahushai for the forefront about keeping the brotherhood. And I'm not talking about even just, he, he, of course, the law of not eating pork and stuff like that, but just the simple laws, man, leaving food out for, for, the, for the homeless, things like that. Those kept a unity in, in Israel, man, that kept a, a bond amongst the children of Israel. But now that you can clearly see that bond has been broken, look at our people now. They're through, man. I'm going to play this little, little clip. The brother posted. Let me get it real quick.
Yeah. Just like you said, man, this this is down here on Earth, man. Well, I'll get it. I'll get it. What down here on Earth is. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 3 and verse 6, 16. And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment, that, that wickedness was there, and the place of the righteous, that iniquity was there. Now, we are under the sun. This place down here is a trial period. You're tested down here. What decisions you going to make? You're going to do the right thing. You're going to do the evil thing. You're going to do, you're going to follow out the righteous. You're going to follow out the wickedness. And these little, man, these little niggas nowadays, oh my God. These little dudes, man, they're, they're through, man. They're going to die. That's why the majority of these people, they're worthless, man. Just like the scriptures say, born in vain. The scripture says it, man. Second as there's nine and 20 and 20. Like the multitude of pairs, which is born in vain. They have nothing. They have no use. They're evil. Majority of, of 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 people on the planet right now are evil. Only those that are righteous through the cleansing of the blood through Yahweh Shai are the elected one third, man. Everybody else gotta go. Because they bring nothing good to the table. They bring nothing but cruelty, evil, strife. They don't bring they don't fear the Lord, man. They don't fear Yahweh. They don't fear Yahweh Shai. They scoff at him, they mock him. And you think the Lord's just going to let that idly slide by? Oh, hell no. Nah. They just start to say, God is not mocked. The Lord is not mocked. He's going to judge. He's going to do. He's going He's going to, hey, what does it say in Isaiah? He's going to yell, man, like a travailing woman. He's about to show his hand, man. And those, those who don't fear the Lord are soon going to be forced to fear him through pain, through suffering. And, a, and, a, and another main reason people act the way they act now is because what? Since the laws aren't put into the forefront, since the righteousness of the Heavenly Father is not put into the forefront, what is put into the forefront? Idolatry. Heavy idolatry. Heavy idolatry. The idolatry. The worship of yourself. Self-worship. The brother uh, Kaliyah said this once said, everybody Instagram page is basically, is basically uh, that, that's their altar. That's their little altar to themselves. This is it. And this is all who who has propagated the system. Who set all this up? Esau, Edom. That's why everyone who follows him is going to be judged right along with him. It's a wisdom of Solomon 14, verse 20, 22. Moreover, this was not enough for for them that 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 they erred in the knowledge of Yahweh because they were they because whereas they lived in the great war of ignorance. Those so great plagues called they peace. And this is what they call peace. For which thou slew their children in sacrifices. Hey, people giving their, even their child to the system, man. Unto the school system to be indoctrinated, teaching lies, man. Christopher Columbus was a great man. He was a good man. Alexander was a great man. This dude murdered millions. Christopher Columbus killed our people. So did Alexander. Well, that, well Alec, not specific. I'll say this about Alex, Alexander. He actually left Jake alone, but the, his four generals after after him, they put hell on Jake, specifically the from the line of solution. And to clarify that, uh, but giving Jake uh, your children to the system or use secret ceremonies. Oh, what's your sign? Oh, oh, this, this stone, you know, this stone, dude. Hey, man, people with heavy, heavy use of stones for witchcraft, man. You got to watch a bitch with too many crystals on her, bro. <laughs> that, bitch, that bitch might be a witch, brother. You might want to might wanna step back on that one. And made revelings of strange rites. Oh, the, oh, the fire sign. You're a fire sign. Oh, you you a wind sign. Man, I tell you, bitch, I don't believe in that shit. That shit's stupid. You goof. You goof. It. And they love it. They, 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 they like what you cut. I'm just a side note. But I tell them, man, you goofy as hell. Like, you know, that shit is made. That shit's stupid. You, you're stupid. And I tell, I tell that to anybody face, man. That shit is stupid. That, that, uh, that zodiac sign, the fire sign, all that. Goof shit, man. All this shit go leads back into idolatry and wickedness. The worship of 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 uh of things outside of Yahweh by Shem Shai, worshiping stars, moons, and elements. That's not that that Lord ain't pleased with that. They kept neither 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 lives nor marriages, 
any longer undefiled. Heavy adultery. Adultery is pushed so heavily nowadays. It's crazy. It's crazy. But everyone slew another treacherously. Murders, killing, and grieved him by adultery. Man, that shit ain't even like, man, that, that nigga ain't doing, he ain't putting it down like me. Yeah, you know, I, 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 you know I'm going to slide her. Uh, and she messaged back. It's shit, it's shit, boy. 25. So that there reigned in all men without expectation of blood. So they're, they're, no, they just, they're never satisfied, man. Manslaughter, death, dissimulation, corruption, unfaithfulness, tumults, perjury, disquieting good men. If you're righteous, you're, you're a problem. If you say anything righteous, then nigga, shut up. Nigga, you don't know what you're talking. All right, but the Lord gonna kill this nigga. Forgetfulness of a good turn. Hey, bro, you're not supposed to be doing that. You're not supposed to eat pork, man. Man, I've been eating pork. Oh, all right, bro, have a good one. Oh, you, oh, bro, you shouldn't be doing that. You shouldn't be smoking. No, man, I've been... All right, bro, have a good one. Righteousness is forgotten in this present world. Righteous, anything good is forgotten. That's why it says he that turns to righteousness makes himself a prey. Righteousness is, is 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 forgotten in this present world. That's why we have to fight to continue and fight for righteousness, man. Because ain't nobody else down here doing it, man. That's why Yahweh Shai said, not Yahweh Shai, I think it's Isaiah, who who will stand up against the evildoer, man? And and through through the great mercies of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, Shai, and through the death of Yahweh Shai, we're standing up, sorry from our apostles and elders on down against the evil door, man. We're standing up for righteousness, and it's a great honor, man. It's a great honor to stand up against this evil world. These, these, it may seem simple that we just do videos and go on the highways and buy, buy it, but this is power, man. This is true power. This is, and it's only going to increase more and more. So, so they reigned in. Okay, uh. Verse 26, the quieting of good men, forgiveness of good turn, turns, the filing of souls, changing of the kinds. Hey, you you know what that is. The L's, the P's, the Q's, whatever they want to call it. Disorder in marriage, adultery, and shameless, shameless, uncleanness. Look at, they got a show called Shameless. And everybody nowadays is shameless. They're shameless. And hey, you got to bring shame back. People used to be shame-faced in the ancient world. Like, oh man, damn, that was shameful. That was shameful for my to my father. That was shameful before my mother. Now they, they don't care. Don't nobody care. Ain't no honor. Ain't no morals. Ain't no integrity nowadays. Everyone's fucking shameless. And shameless uncleanliness. They don't care what they do, man. Everybody, nigga, nigga, do anything, man. I mean anything, man. You let your imagination take that. For the worship of idols, not to be named, is the beginning and the cause and end of all evil because these idols are propagated. They're set up, these evil idols, or there's no penalties. There's no penalties with these idols. The, it, the What's crazy about it, there's no penalties. You actually get, you get blessed from these idols in their eyes. But in truth, they're going to be judged by the Heavenly Father. Worship in the fucking universe. Fucking wrong with you. For either they, they are mad when they be merry or prophesy lies or or live unjustly or else light light for forswear themselves, lightly forswear themselves. For in so much of their tr trust in idols which have no life, though they swear falsely, yet they look not to be hurt, howbeit for, for both cause shall they be just justly punished. Both because they thought not well of Yahweh, giving heed unto idols, and also unjustly unjust, swearing in deceit, despising holiness. For it is not the power in them by whom they swear, but it is the just vengeance of sinners, sinners that punish, punishes always the offense of the ungodly. So you will be judged, man, those that despise holiness. Will be judged. You will be judged, man. And this is when you set up things out, set up idolatry and all uh, spiritual adultery outside of 
Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and what he stands for and what he what he sets up. This is why it says he thought to change laws, man. He he changed the laws of the most high and set up his own. And now look how the world has become. Look at the people. Look at the just look outside. They are not right. Just go to the fucking grocery store. You'd be like, I gotta leave this place. <laughs> I gotta go. These people are crazy. I went into Target with my chick that ass. This nigga had had a had uh 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 what's this what's that thing called your key your thing that you hold and key wrapped around his head all crazy like talking about you can use this register i'm looking at this nigga like nigga don't you know you got that on your head why you, ain't you at work <laughs> they're crazy these people are man man is isaiah 24 verse uh uh for, uh, for the earth mourners and fades away, the haughty people of the 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 world languishes and fades away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. The earth also is def defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, and broken the everlasting covenant. They took away the the things which the heavenly Father said were good and called them evil. And now look, this is going to be the result. Therefore, have the curse devoured the earth as Esau. He's been set up in power. And what is he doing? He's destroying the planet. But now look at the final, final judgment. That they do, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore, the habit of the earth are burned and few men left. That's the judgment. The destruction, the ultimate destruction. Now, I want to get one more thing. Just want to check something. Matthew 22. What was that? One second. Okay. Okay, right here. Yahweh shall answer love Yahweh and, and your neighbor. It says... Says Yahusha said to him, You shall love the Lord your power. And he says, This is the first and greatest commandment. Keep going. This is A. Uh, Yahusha said to him perfectly, understanding the 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 ex extent of the law. Yahusha had no difficult answering difficulties answering instead of from from. Promoting one commandment over another, Yahweh shall def define the law in in its core, per, uh, particularly love the Lord with everything you have and love your neighbor as yourself. It is clear enough what it means to love the Lord with all with all with all we are. Though it is impossible to do perfectly, but there there has been much confusion about what it means to love your neighbor as yourself. This does not mean that we must love ourselves before we love anyone else. It means that it is the same way we take care of ourselves our, and our concerns about our own interests. We should take care and have concern for the attentions of of others. Speaking about the brothers, your actual 
kin, the children of Israel. You ha- you should have concern with them. Like, it's something going on with the brother. Hey, bro, what's going on? You, what's, you need some help? What's, ha- what's happening? Like, what's up? Like, you should have concern. People, But people nowadays, they don't have concern or care for one another. Let's keep going. It says the first and greatest commandment in respect of order, quality, and dignity. One on these two commandments hang the law and the prophets. Moral expectation of man can be briefly and powerfully said in these two sentences. If the if the life of Yah of Yahweh is, is real in our life, it will show by the presence of this love for Yahweh and others, and it will show in how you treat the brothers, man, how you treat each other. How you treat one another. But it shows how these people treat one another. And how they do one another. That they're evil. And you can just watch fucking world star hip hop. Hip hop. Instagram videos. It's crazy. Nigga. Nigga. Had sex with. With his brother's baby mama. Nigga. That's your. Nigga. You my brother. You gonna fuck my ex nigga. You're wildin my dog. You're wildin. Your chick leave you for your neighbor. <laughs> your neighbor that live across the street, you get with her now. She get with her. Bro, it's evil out here. Cutting people off in traffic. Ain't got no concern. You don't care about him. You almost killed that man. No one has concern for one another. But that's because the law is slack. Everyone is me, me, me. On the way home, I seen somebody's license plate that literally said, All me. It's just them. It's just it's, it's me. I'ma thank myself for this. As a selfish people are very selfish and cruel in this modern day society. As I'm gonna get this last part, Moses sums up, and when it says others, it's talking about the Israelites. It's applied to the to the Israelites, and even then, man, even then, when you read about what King David did to the King Moab because he he entreated him well. He was trying to be cool and send him gifts, but then his son fucked it all up and got fucked up. But he, hey, that's why it says, uh, uh, live peacefully with all men. Yeah, we gonna get y'all heathens, but right now, hey, we just dealing, man. We may open the door for a damn cracker one day, and then you, another day you might not. But either way, amongst the brothers, chiefly, this is where this, this shines, man. If a brother is in need, you help. A brother just need to talk. You, 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 if you can, you talk. If it, it, this shines amongst the, the 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 community of the brothers in this truth that speak the same thing, because everybody ain't a brother. Just because you know you are Israelite don't mean you technically a brother. I mean, you are a brother, but you not a brother. <laughs> you get what I mean? You got to be a brother, brother. Moses sums up all in the in the Ten Commandments to which. Truly in, inter, interpreted all the precepts and scriptures and and reduces, resembles uh, Yahweh Shai here, bringing the two, ten to two, to two. So he just summed it all up because the law really is just summed up in loving the Lord and treating your neighbor with respect and honor and dignity, man. If you love the Lord, you're not gonna do your neighbor wrong. So this is just some some quick, just some that hey, it, this is why the Lord's laws must be set at the forefront of the society. So this all this bullshit and this evil that that's propagated in society will go away fast in a hurry. But that the Lord's laws are gonna be forced upon these people because they're not gonna get it. So with that, all praise be to Hell, Bashim Al Shai. Bless you, Mercado Kardashian, with that.